Hello there and welcome to SNMB Academy. In this presentation, I'll be showing you how to draw the frequency polygon graphs. Now, so in front of you here, we have a question in which it says that the table shows some information about the height of 60 plants. So this is a table that shows us the height of 60 plants. And then we have a graph here which in which we'll be drawing our frequency polygon. So on the x-axis, we have the height in this height of the plant. And on the y-axis, we have the frequency, the number of plants. So the question says that the height of, so between the plants from 20 centimeters, so the units are centimeters, 20 centimeters to 30 centimeters, the frequency is eight. So they've just given us the information that from 20 to 30 centimeters there are eight plants now how many of what we don't exactly know so likewise from 30 to 40 centimeters we have 13 plants 40 to 50 25 now if we were to uh, you know present and draw this information in a as a frequency polygon how do we do it so we know that a high we can uh, we can we'll be struggling how we know that the frequency is easy we just see eight and then we plot it as eight on the y-axis but along our x-axis is quite difficult because we have a class interval here 20 to 30 so from 20 to 30 and what we actually have to do in this case is we will find our midpoint so you can just draw a table and we can write the midpoint midpoint of h so that would be the height so in that midpoint will make it a lot easier so that was in other words the median and how we actually find median is we add the two numbers and divide by two so the first one would be 20 plus 30 so let's just do that here 20 plus 30 divided by 2 so that makes 50 divided by 2 which is 25 so it's quite clear it would be 25 in the middle so 25 now the median in, in this kind of question you can do it from the top of your head as well but sometimes they give questions with decimals so it's a lot easier to know how to actually find the median anyways so from 30 to 40 would be 35 from 40 to 50 would be 45 50 to 60 would be 55 and 60 to 70 would be 65 now so we know now we have our midpoint with just one point it's no longer a class interval it makes it a little easier for us to plot it onto the graph now so our midpoint h the height would be 25 so that's 25 is here we know that inside the middle so the graph is going up in one so 21 22 23 24 and 25 and the frequency for that 25 would be 8 so we go to 25 weighs 8 over here so it's 10 again the graph is going up in one so one two three four five six seven eight so here so let's just put a little dot as eight likewise you do the second one so that's 35 and 13 so 35 35 and 13 so that's 10 11 12 13 that's here likewise the next one 45 and 25 so that's 45 go up on 25 that's coming over here 55 and 10 55 and 10 that's going to be on this and then we have lastly 65 and 4 65 and 4 so we have our you know plots we have plotted our points and now in frequency polygon we are going to join the lines together so with a ruler you would join one point with another point so it's this point would join with that point and this point would join with this point this one would join with this the last line would be joined with them and that's how our frequency polygon graph would look like so we use a ruler in order to make sure that we join the points together so very nice and simple trying some hard question i've got a few here so let's just try this one now so in this question here uh, i've just doing it because it's, it's quite challenging the the graph to understand now same same process exactly the same thing as what we did in the previous question so we have our minutes drawn on the x-axis we have our frequency given on the y-axis so again we have the class interval given as time so what do we plot we plot the midpoint 
So let's just draw the uh, write down our midpoint so it's easier for us to understand what points we're dealing with. So midpoint of t, so t minutes. So zero to ten again. Add the two numbers divided by two. If you can just do it straight in your top of your head, feel free to do so. So that would be five. Next one, fifteen. Next one, twenty and thirty. Midpoint would be twenty-five. Thirty and forty. Midpoint would be thirty-five. And 40 and 50, midpoint would be 45. And lastly, 50 and 60, midpoint would be 55. And now we just have to plot it onto the, onto the graph. So we're looking at midpoint as 5 and the frequency as 4. Now in the graph, it's no longer going up in 1. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 boxes. But the number is giving me 10. So here I will find out what my ratio is. So my boxes are 5 but the number is 10 so my ratio is 5 times 1 is 5 and then 5 times 2 is 10 so 1 to the ratio 2 so every one box is 2 so we are going up in twos right so that would mean so every one box is 2 so i'm looking at 5 so that's 2 4 and 5 will become into the middle of the second and the third box and the frequency is 4 so 1 2 3 4 there we go Likewise, the second one, 15 and 8. So 12, 14, 15 and 8. So that's 9 and 8. That's coming over here. Next one, 25 and 14. So 25 and 14. So it's 15, 14. And 35 and 16. You got 30, 30, 31, 32. And that's... 35 and 16 is that 16 yeah so we're gonna go that's 15 and 16 and then we have 45 and 6 45 and 6 that's our 5 in this one 45 and 6 and then 55 and 2 55 and 2 1 2 so quite challenging but obviously if once you get to realize it's quite simple so again we we'll take a ruler and we will join the two lines two plots together so two plots join together these two join together join them together this point we join with this point and likewise in the last line so there we are, the frequency polygon graph. We do not join this line from the zero, and we do not join the last one from anywhere else. We just leave the, the points in between them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.